Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Trump National Los Angeles. My name is Jean-Pierre Vincent, I'm the executive chef here, and today we're going to make a beautiful cocktail for you. It's our famous Trump margarita. And also, for added bonus, we're going to have our really nice risotto with rock shrimp and butternut squash. Okay, so first couple things we're gonna need for our nice Trump uh, margarita is going to be, we're gonna need a shaker. We're also gonna need a jigger, which is, this will be to measure our uh, liquor. Uh, we're also going to need a little bit of salt. I actually prefer to use sea salt just because it has a really natural flavor. As well, we're going to use some fresh oranges. We're going to use some fresh cut limes and also some fresh cut lemons. So it's going to be very citrusy, very refreshing, a nice cocktail for the summertime. Okay, we are going to go ahead and start with two ounces of um, any orange liqueur of your choice or preference. Next, we're going to have tequila. Añejo is my personal favorite because I think the flavor is very floral and very light. Then we're gonna go ahead and add about an ounce of lime juice. Now, what really makes this a Trump margarita is a couple of things. We've got our citrus, which is fresh orange. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze couple of wedges in there. We're gonna also gonna add a little bit of lime and a lemon wedge. Now this, uh, the reason that I particularly do this is because the actual oils of the citrus really embellish the drink to be very refreshing, very light and homemade. Next, we're going ahead and add a little bit of simple syrup. Now the simple syrup is something that you can make at home very easily. You get 50% uh, water and 50% sugar. Bring it to the boil. Once all the ingredients are mixed, you could cool it down a little bit and then you can start to use it. So that's exactly what I've done here. I'm gonna go ahead and add about an ounce of that. And now, all the ingredients are in here. We're gonna add a little bit of ice so we can chill it. So now we want to take another glass and you want to tap it a couple of times to make sure it's nice and sealed. And we go ahead and start shaking. You want to get a really nice aggressive shake in there so all the citrus really flavors this cocktail. Okay, so now once that's done, a couple of taps and your glass should come out like this. Now I like for garnishing um, to rim the glass with a little bit of orange. A lot of people tend to use lime, but I prefer orange just because it's a little bit uh, not as tart and bitter and a lot more refreshing for me. We're gonna go ahead and get some of that uh, nice salt and just do a light little rim on there. Very good. And now for a garnish, we're gonna put a couple of wedges of orange in there. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of ice just to make sure it's nice and cold. And we are now going to strain the cocktail in our glass. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks so delicious and refreshing. Nice and orange, nice and light, and very delicious. Let's go ahead and taste this out, see where we're at. Mmm, wow, this is very delicious. I hope you enjoy it and make it at home, and if not, you could always come here to Trump National and always have it. Cheers. Hello again, everybody. Uh, we are going to go ahead and proceed to make our uh, butternut squash and rock shrimp risotto, which is actually very simple to make, and it only has a couple of ingredients. Now, I went ahead and I actually made a butternut squash stock, which is, consists of butternut roasted with some vegetables, onions, carrots, and celeries, a little bit of wine, aromatics like thyme and rosemary, made a stock into it, and now we have this beautiful orange flavor of stock. So it's really gonna enhance the nice natural flavor of the butternut, or butternut squash. Uh, the ingredients are basically gonna be some fresh diced uh, butternut squash. We have our nice fresh rock shrimp. We have some excellent uh, pecorino cheese, which is very, very good in flavor. We have uh, salt. We have white pepper, 
and of course uh, the star of the show which would be the Arborio rice. Now Arborio rice you can get at any store and um, there's a couple of things to know about Arborio rice. You can actually par cook the Arborio rice in order for you to make the risotto in just a few minutes or you can cook everything at once and it would only take 15 minutes exactly to cook risotto. Arborio is the name of the actual grain of the rice. Risotto is the actual name of the dish. So today we're making butternut squash and rock shrimp risotto. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start the cooking process. So let's get started. I have a nice pre-warmed pan. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of oil, okay? And now I have my nice arborio rice. We're gonna go ahead and add about a half a cup in there. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and saute a little bit. Um, we want to go ahead and saute it in the sense where we're not giving any color to the actual rice or the grain, but we're just getting it a little bit warm, nice and toasty, so it's actually going to make the dish a little bit vibrant in flavor. Okay. Now, how do I know when it's ready to go? Well, very simple. You actually you want to go ahead and be able to grab the grain. Now, when you grab the grain, if it's too hot to handle, then it's already ready to go. So. Since I've actually preheated my pan, the actual grain has actually <laughs> it got pretty toasty rather quickly. So now what I want to do, now that it's ready to go, I want to go ahead and add just a tad bit more oil. And we're going to go ahead and add our fresh butternut stock. Now, basically once the stock that we actually have pre-boiled already so it's nice and hot, you don't want to put a cold ingredient into a hot pan because what's going to end up happening is your pan is going to get cold again and it's going to take twice as long to actually make the risotto. So now once any kind of a liquid touches the grain it, it takes exactly 15 minutes to cook your rice. Now basically the trick is everybody has a misconception of that you have to sit here and stir the arborio rice all the time and that is false. It is not necessary. Once you put half of the amount of liquid in the actual rice, leave it to cook for 15 minutes, shut it off, and that's when the magic begins. You do not have to steer at all. As long as you keep a nice low heat, make sure the grains are covered with the stock, you're going to be fine, I promise. This particular dish is one of my favorites because I actually learned while I lived in Italy and the actual chef who taught me how to make risotto was um, very diligent and very scientific about how he made risotto and it actually made me understand that risotto is theoretically a science and it should be treated as that. Hence, once any kind of a liquid touches the actual grain, 15 minute marker should go on and that's going to let you know when the rice is cooked all the way through you shut the pan off and that's when you add the rest of your ingredients to actually finish the dish. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Now that our rice is cooked, we're going to go ahead and add our butternut stock, which we've actually diced a little bit of butternut squash here. We're going to go ahead and gently saute that for a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of oil. And we're going to go ahead and add our rock shrimp. Now rock shrimp, you can use um, crayfish, you can use crawfish, you can use scallops, you can use lobster, any kind of a seafood to actually make this particular dish. I just prefer using rock shrimp just because they're a little bit easier to eat and they look cool. Now for this I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of salt, and a little bit of white pepper. Mmm, you can smell it now, so good. Now once you saute these ingredients for a couple of minutes, we're going to go ahead and deglaze with a little bit of the stock just so all the flavors marry. And we're going to be able to finish our risotto. Uh, the shrimp here, once we're sauteing it, it's going to take approximately three to four minutes to cook. Your pan is nice and hot, so you kept all that nice heat in there. And you don't ever want to go ahead and overcook your shrimp because then they're going to become tough, chewy, and rubbery, and that's going to be very unpleasant for the dish. So now at this point, I have some par-cooked arborio. We're going to go ahead and add that. 
we're gonna saute everything together now. Now this particular par cooked rice that I have has been cooked halfway through. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same stock. Now I really love to use the vegetables that I'm enhancing the dish with because that's basically a, a marriage of two flavors in one. So it really is gonna bring out the full flavor of butternut squash in this particular dish. Now once the 15 minute markers hit, you shut the heat off and what's gonna happen is at that point, we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese and we're gonna also go ahead and add a little bit of butter just to kind of marry all the flavors together and to make it nice, rich, and velvety. Now at this point, once you add your cheese and you add a little bit of butter, that's when you can go ahead and start mixing it. Now when you mix it here, you want to go ahead and mix it rather vigorously because that way it's going to activate the starch from the grain, which is what's going to essentially bind all the flavors together and it's going to make risotto. So see as I'm mixing it, everything is coming together. Now at this stage, remember that the heat is off, so you can go ahead and use the residual heat that actually left in the pan in order to make this dish. Now once all your cheese is melted and your butter has melted, you want to go ahead and taste. Make sure that salt and pepper is to your liking. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, so now we continue to mix a little bit more. And I actually love a lot of cheese, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little more cheese to it. Mmm, this looks so yummy and delicious. I wish you were here. I love to use pecorino cheese, which is a particular cheese I use today because it's got a really nice, profound flavor, um, and it's very natural. Uh, sometimes you get the bag shredded cheese, and sometimes that processed cheese isn't give you that nice flavor that you want. So you always want to go ahead and use a cheese that you can actually grate because most grated cheeses have a chemical in there or some kind of a starch to keep it from sticking. So you obviously want to stay away from that because then it'll add chemicals to your particular dish and it's not going to be a good flavor. So now our risotto is finished. We're going to go ahead and actually plate it. Now, chef, how do I know when this is actually ready? Well, very simple. You always want to make sure that your risotto flows like lava, just like so. And that's actually a nice key to let you know that the risotto is finished and it's properly made. What do you do if it's a little bit dry? Well, very simple. You want to go ahead and add just a little bit more of the actual stock that you made, or you can add a little bit of white wine, or a little bit of water is okay. What do I do if it's a little too wet? Very simple. You go ahead and you add a little bit of extra cheese on top and uh, cook it a little bit longer and that should take care of that problem. So for garnishing, I'm just going to use a little bit of chopped parsley. And since I love cheese so much, I'm going to add a little bit more. And that's risotto. Wow, delicious. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this evening, and I hope to see you soon so you can come try our beautiful rock shrimp and butternut squash risotto, and also our famous Trump margarita. Cheers. <laughs>